Tonight, the dessert is course number six. This is when the guests are introduced to the star of the show, the berry. Basically, what we give to the diners, we'll just give them a little spoon of this. They will eat that. It'll take about 60 seconds. Once the lemon tastes sweet, then they keep eating whatever they're, they're eating. The dessert is sugar-free and bland, but after eating the miracle berry powder, the hope is it will taste sweet and interesting. Now in the center here you have the miracle berry uh, in its powdered form. What you do is you take the powder, put all of it onto your tongue, let it soak into your palate. Once it's completely dissolved, take a bite of the lemon and if it tastes like lemonade, that means it's working. Once the powder is sitting on the tongue, it needs to be combined with acid. Acid makes the sweet receptors pucker up and our perception of sweetness explode. Sweeter now. The berries contain a chemical, a glycoprotein, that's been called miraculin. This changes shape with acid, enhancing the sweet receptors so powerfully that it drowns out the sour. Oh, wow. It just, boom, it just wakes you up. Oh, that's nice. This feels good. It doesn't, like, throw me over the back of the chair. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Clearly, the berry gets a reaction, but there's the problem of the gap. You have to eat the powder before the food. If you combine them, the science suggests that you lose the effect. The problem here is that you have to eat this berry and then you drink your soda or you eat your cookie. You know, that's for a small group of people, like diabetics will do that, but what about, you know, a six-year-old kid? They don't care what's going on on their tongue. They just want their cookie. Um, so what we're going to solve is just that. We're going to put the berry in the cookie. So that way when you eat it, it tastes sweet, but there's no glucose in this cookie whatsoever. Do you think you're going to be able to do that? It is quite a difficult thing to do this, isn't it? Uh, we've already done it. We've done it on a small scale. And uh, now we need to take it to the next level. Just because I can make something in a lab doesn't mean that it's ready for prime time. So. That's our next step.